hello my lovelies if you're new here welcome to my channel if you're not new here welcome back sis today's video i'm bringing to you guys how i did these beautiful butterfly locks on my client and i'm going to show you guys how i install them using water wave hair and spring twist hair so as you can see i've already parted off my hair in two boxes and i've gone ahead and braided down about two inches and twisted the rest so that it's easier for my client to take them down when she's ready. The hair that I'm going to be using is going to be, of course, linked in the description. But this here is spring twist hair. And this here is water wave hair. And I'm going to be using one piece of the spring twist and two pieces of the water wave. And you're going to want to put those all together and kind of fluff them out. So that it's going to give you that distressed sort of look so I'm gonna go ahead and take my crochet hook slash latch hook and stick it in there and go ahead and pull all three pieces through the braid if you haven't watched any of my other videos I kind of go a little more in depth on how to use a crochet hook but if you guys would like a separate video on how to use it if you're still a little confused or if you have questions definitely let me know in the comments down below so after I've pulled the pieces of hair through I'm gonna go ahead and find that piece of spring twist hair and I'm gonna wrap that around the base this is me scraping the gel off my hand. I'm going to wrap this piece of spring twist hair around the base so that the lock is secure and it kind of doesn't slip downward because the spring twist hair has a tighter curl and kind of a sturdier hold in the water wave hair. So that's why I kind of like to mix the both of them in there and it gives the lock a little more texture. You can't really see it here in this clip but one side is longer than the other and one side is going to be the length that you want the lock to stop at. So for this one, it is a lock bob, so I'm doing it kind of at bob length. So here's where the distressed part comes in. So you're gonna keep the same pattern of wrapping, but you're going to stick your thumb in between the wrap to create a loop as you can see and after you stuck your thumb in you're going to wrap the hair on top of the loop and this is going to make sure that the loop kind of stays there i hope i'm making sense you kind of have to practice it and feel feel it out you know and for me after every few loops and wraps that i do i go ahead and push push up on the lock a little bit so that it kind of condenses it and makes it a little more chunky So you're going to keep doing this wrap and loop method all the way down to where you want your lock to stop. And like I said, I'm going for a bob lock, so I'm kind of doing it bra strap length, sort of. And here I'm about to ask her if this is the length that she wanted it at, just to make sure. Some people have a preference if they want a little shorter, a little longer, I don't mind. And then I'm going to take the excess hair, flip it up, and wrap upward and then take the rest of the hair and keep doing the same wrap method back up the lock. So you're gonna do the same thing upward as you were doing for the lock going down. But as you're going up, you kinda wanna pull at the hair so that the ends get a little stringy. So you can see right here that I have like a little, barely a thread of hair, which is what you want. And you're going to go ahead and make a few knots at the end of it and keep wrapping until there's no more hair left. So 
So I'm going to show you guys one more time all the way through how I install the lock. And honestly, it just takes practice and also it depends on your preference and how you want your locks to look. You can use all spring twist hair, all water wave hair, a different combination of both of them or either of them. It really just depends on how you want your locks to look. At the end of the locks, you can add a little dot of nail glue or where the last piece of hair that you're wrapping is, but please make sure that it's not on the client's real hair. Um, I would say that you don't really need nail glue for butterfly locks like these because the hair kind of knots up on itself as the client wears it. So it doesn't really unravel, but if it makes you feel a little better, you can add just a tiny, tiny, dot of nail glue <laughs> and I'm putting emphasis on tiny because sometimes the nail glue will come out way more than what you anticipated from the bottle and you do not want it to get on your client's hair because no <laughs> and do not come blaming me telling people that I told you to put the nail glue on there because I am giving you a warning please be cautious about the amount of glue that you put and where you put it. Thanks.
So this is my favorite, favorite part of any style is the mousse, okay? I'm gonna have the mousse that I'm using linked down below, of course. Please don't look at the crusty cap. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and, of course, I'm filming a TikTok, but I'm gonna go ahead and apply the mousse. How satisfying, okay? And I get a few questions on what does the mousse do? Like, why do you put it? And honestly, I don't really have an answer. It makes it shiny, makes it smell good. This mousse has olive oil in it, so it's giving those you know, nutrients that come from olive oil, you know? I don't know, I like to do it. Some braiders have certain things that they like to do just because it gives it that extra zhuzh, you know? Like when you get your nails done and they put the cuticle oil, it's not gonna feel the same if they don't do it. So, of course I gotta put the mousse. And I'm gonna go ahead and use my blow dryer to dry it. This process also kind of reduces the amount of flyaways that you have, not necessarily in this style, but for every other style, such as braids and stuff. So if you're not moosing, moose. And this is the finished butterfly lock bob. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and I hope you guys learned some new things, picked up some new tips and tricks. And if you did, don't forget to give me a like or a thumbs up, and hit the subscribe button so you guys can be subscribed of course so you guys don't miss any of my new content that i upload